This egg holds the key to Angelo Dorigo's hopes and dreams. And this unborn chick will one day grow into the most graceful glider on the planet. For mankind, flight is freedom. And for this man, the skies have defined his entire life. Per me il volo è questo, è entrare in un altro elemento che è l'aria e riuscire a viverlo. That world has inspired legend since the birth of civilization. As Icarus soared higher and higher towards the heavens, he grew exalted at his newfound freedom in the skies. He flew too close to the sun god Helios, and the wax, securing his wings, melted from the heat. Il cielo è sempre stato un elemento di sogno per l'uomo, però è altrettanto vero che la gravità ha sempre fatto pagare caro il prezzo all'uomo del giocare per aria. But legends imbued with tragedy have not deterred humanity's obsession with the skies. Hello? Écoute, je suis sur la route. Je suis en train de foncer parce que ils viennent de m'appeler. Il est en train de naître. Exact, c'est magnifique. The chick slowly perforates the inside of the shell. An exhausting 36 hours later, a young condor breaks free. It's a male. A proud father names him Inca. His first breath and bite of food heralds life. By raising this captive-born condor from birth, Angelo is hoping to unlock the secrets of high-altitude flight and to reciprocate the gift of the mysteries of gliding. He will offer Inca the greatest gift of all. Freedom. Owen Grossinger, who runs the breeding center, takes Angelo to meet the young condor's parents.
Das ist der Vater Aha. und die Mutter. Haben wir einen kleinen Baby. Das ist für Meil an Meil. Ja, das geht. He needs to form a fundamental initial bond with Inca, but he wears a mask and is clothed in black, so that the young chick will also imprint on Angelo, the pilot. Mediterranean island of Sicily. Here, Angelo lives at the base of an active volcano, Mount Etna. It is where he has perfected the art of free flying. This French-born Italian adventurer has set countless world records. In 2004, he flew at an extraordinary 9,000 meters over the peak of Mount Everest. But for true inspiration in the skies, he looked to nature's own gliders. Angelo has flown with cranes and eagles over oceans and mountains and adapted his flying and breathing technique to theirs. And now he aims to take his dream one step further. He wants to think, feel and fly like the greatest soaring bird on earth the Andean condor. Back at home, he is studying the condor's powerful wings with great intensity. His recent discovery that an Andean condor was intercepted at 10,000 meters opened up a world of possibility. How could it reach that altitude? And how might he imitate this perfect aerial anatomy to glide just as high? He hopes that these feathers will enable him to free fly exactly like this graceful creature. To explore the science behind Condor flight, he goes to Ellesis, a leading research facility near Naples. È venuto un giorno Angelo da me e mi ha detto il Condor deve avere qualcosa di particolare per poter volare così bene così in alto. La forma su come Angelo Esatto. Nevio Di Giusto is a top aerodynamic engineer who was fascinated by Angelo's unusual quest. Io ho cercato di, di spiegare che il segreto stava probabilmente nelle remiganti. Perché eh, le remiganti funzionano bene quando devi eh, volare nelle termiche, devi catturare il momento. Per cui la remigante ti permette di avere un'ala più corta e una maggiore agilità. The key to Condor's effortless gliding lies in these seven primary feathers which stick out like long fingertips off each wing. Based on these feathers, De Giusto decided to work with Angelo on an innovative aerodynamic project. A 
at four weeks old, Angelo nurtures his young protege with food and love. It is time to turn to Inca's future. In just one month's time, it will be warm enough for the young chick to move out of the lab. The architects go to work, creating the ultimate condor home. A space large enough to house Angelo's hang glider. Maya is Inca's biological sister and is just one year older. Angelo hopes that she will be the perfect companion for his young chick. As Inca must learn how to socialize with other condors if he is to survive in the wild. At two months, Inca is still covered in grey down. Like any awkward adolescent, Inca's father adores him nonetheless. Until they learn to fly and become proficient scavengers, condors depend completely on their parents for food and protection. Inca is no exception. For today, it's finished. We're going to make a bit of toilet. Now we're going to sleep a little bit, and then we'll come out, OK? From now on, these glider wings will be a prominent fixture in the chick's development. The day has arrived. A new uncertain world awaits. Daylight proves shocking after the warmth and safety of the lab. Like a baby taking its first steps, the young condor stumbles tentatively on the moist spring grass and is rewarded for his efforts. Inca is facing his first night outside, but he will not be alone. Oggi per, per Inca è stata una giornata molto difficile perché è uscito fuori dal luogo dove quindi era nato, dove ha iniziato a crescere e in questa prima volta è stato ambientato con queste grandi ali del deltaplano che sono le ali di questo strano papà e che saranno le ali che lo guideranno nella, nel suo ingresso eh, nel suo mondo, direi, nel suo habitat. Buonanotte.
Shankar is now sharing his enclosure with his sister Maya. Physically, they are different. As a male, Inga has a visible crest on his forehead. The two have remained separated, as it was still too early for the birds to be integrated. They keep a suspicious and watchful eye over the other's movements. It is the moment of truth. The time has come to bid Austria farewell. With a little more than a gentle push, they encourage Inca and Maya to step into their future. But whilst their past in Austria has been firmly rooted on the ground, the future of these birds lies very much in the clear blue Mediterranean skies. One early August morning in Sicily, Angelo steps out of his front door to visit his two newest residents. Maya. Soon, Maya will be ready to take to the skies of Sicily. Like every condor parent, Angelo must teach Inca and Maya how to flap their wings and fly like adult birds. Inca is developing his sense of balance. While the birds acclimatized to life in Sicily, Angelo and his wife Lara travel to the ancient Incan city of Machu Picchu to explore the possibilities of releasing the condors into the surrounding areas. Cusco was the ancient Incan capital. Cusco is proprio l'origine, no? Sì, exactly. Miguel Ayala Calderon is a professor at Cusco University and their potential collaborator on the project. They're hoping to release Maya and Inca in the nearby Urubamba Valley. Part of a greater mission to repopulate the area with Andean condors. In late September, Angelo, Laura, and their 15-year-old son, Gabriele, embark on a field trip to a hill near their home, Fiuma Fredo. It's a big day, Maya's first chance to spread her wings in the wild. Vai, c'è l'aria. 
Hup. 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 Maya's brother, Inka, looks on as his older sister makes her triumphant aerial debut. But it will be another two months before he gains the strength to fly. La sensation, uh... Lorsqu'elle a fait son vol, comment elle, elle a regardé juste en dessous d'elle, je pense qu'elle a, elle a été vraiment surprise, surprise par, le, par la verticale, par la verticalité des choses. Ce que je voyais dans son expression, qu'elle était, elle avait un peu peur, et en même temps, elle était contente de, de faire, d'utiliser ses ailes, parce que jusqu'à maintenant, elle ne savait pas pourquoi ça existait, les ailes. Elle ne savait pas pourquoi elle avait ça. <rire> For the last nine months, engineers have been working on Angelo's new glider. Designers are creating new flying technology based on the Condor's perfect aerial anatomy. Lo possiamo girare proprio di taglio. Ah, bravo, così. La parte azzurra, la parte... Questo significa perdita di energia, e invece da questa parte e la parte di energia, come vedi, come vedi ce n'è moltissima anche qua dietro, no? On a traditional hang glider, large vortices form at the tip of the wing, which squeeze the plane down, losing aeronautical efficiency. Noi dobbiamo ridurre l'energia che si disperde, esattamente come fanno gli uccelli con, la, con le remiganti. While the engineers perfect Angelo's flying machine, nature's own glider prepares for his next flying lesson. As his teacher takes off, a bemused Inca looks on. cercando di tirare fuori l'istinto di Inca, l'istinto lui lo contiene tutto, l'istinto del volo ce l'ha, eh, questa istintività come nell'essere umano per quanto riguarda il camminare ne, nel condor ce l'ha per volare. A second attempt and Inca exhibits a similar reluctance. Inga might not yet be flying, but the tenderness in their relationship transcends biology and time. As Inka learns to use his wings, it is finally time for Angelo to test his Condor-inspired prototype. Ça, 
c'est la première remise de l'aile biologique du condor. L'aile biologique du condor, on a sept, comme ça. Nous, nous avons fait, nous avons laissé la première remise. C'est ça, ça forme comme une winglette. Mais en réalité, c'est un travail de, de, bio, de l'aile biologique à l'aile technologique. Condors use rising columns of warm air, known as thermals, to propel them upwards. By entering a thermal column and slowly circling inside it, a glider can literally ride the ascending air inside. Sicilian test is a success, but Angelo is already focused on the higher altitudes of the Andes. At the end of September, Angelo moves Inca to a higher camp near Shemi. a 330-meter hill overlooking the sea. Inca stands in the face of the stronger wind currents. It is a much more challenging environment for the young condor. Allez, on y va. Finally, an aerial leap of faith. Da, da adesso in poi, in, in realtà, per, per Inca, come un bambino riesce a camminare meglio, eh, Inca riuscirà a volare meglio. E volando meglio, prendendo fiducia nelle sue ali, nelle sue naturali ali, eh, imparerà il mestiere di Condor. Cioè imparerà il mestiere di, di, di vedere l'aria trasparente per noi ma visibile per loro riuscirà a interpretare l'elemento nel quale dovrà, dovrà vivere per tutta, per tutta la, la sua vita. Both student and teacher make some last minute adjustments to their respective wings.
two gliders are preparing for the final stage of their extraordinary joint journey. The South American leg of their adventure. As Angelo heads off, Inca surveys the mountainous domain. And just for a moment, the young condor seems to preside with a quiet authority over his Sicilian kingdom. It is a perfect, cloudless March sky in Comiso, where Angelo is attending a local air show. Unlike his usual flights, today Angelo is not at the controls, but is a passenger on a light aircraft, a Sky Aeroplane. <laughs> Suddenly, tragedy strikes. family tries to come to grips with their shocking loss. This young husband and father and beloved friend and colleague had his life snatched away at the age of just 44. And in a cruel twist of fate, the greatest free flyer in the world lost his life at just 150 meters. Mourners from around the world cram into Catania's cathedral to pay their final respects. The void is overwhelming. Angelo's hang gliding protege, Massimo Cantarella, has lost a teacher and best friend. Io Angelo è con me. Quindi non mi mancherà nulla. Sarà sempre accanto a noi. Lara must pick up the pieces of her life. The life that revolved so intensely around her husband has been shattered. Io ho pensato che nell'ipotesi di di andare avanti per provare a continuare la sperimentazione perché abbia un senso anche a livello scientifico tu potresti essere una persona adatta mm. no ma mi stai chiedendo una cosa veramente non so Massimo reluctantly agrees to enter the aviary. Ti 
He ends up bitten and defeated, but he decides to persevere with his best friend's dream. The following week, the group journey to Fiumafredo. They are bringing the condors to the very same spot where they learned to fly with Angelo. Oggi è stata una prova generale importante e ritengo a parte le difficoltà soddisfacente. È un sogno che dobbiamo portare a termine. Dobbiamo farci questa promessa oggi tra di sì. noi. Mm. Dai, che ce, ce la faremo. Fare, ce la faremo. Ce la faremo. Dai. Per Inca Maia e per completare il sogno di Angelo. Sì. It is the end of one chapter and the beginning of another. In less than 24 hours, Inca and Maya will leave Sicily for a new life in Peru. And accompanying them on the journey will be their new father, Massimo. The day has arrived. It is 3 a.m and the team are preparing, packing, wrapping, and boarding condors for the long trip ahead. Sleepily, excitedly, the convoy departs for Catania Airport. As the plane gets ready to taxi, two condors are seated with their extended family. Some of whom are safely ensconced in their own dream world in the skies. The team arrives in buoyant spirits, and Laura is greeted by Professor Calderon at the airport. Officials check the Condor's documentation. Anxiety reigns. Possono venire? Massimo, Ugo and Gabrielli attempt to calm the agitated condors. The stakes are high. This level of stress could induce a heart attack in the birds. Can you tell me how it's 
basta, 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 finito, stop, se nasa, basta. The two groups emerge from the nightmare scene and formulate a plan. Suddenly, the Peruvian vet receives a phone call. Yeah, okay. Yeah, listen. Sí, sí. Yeah. <laughs> they are granted a reprieve. The birds are free. È successo che finalmente questi due santi uomini del Senasa hanno capito che gli animali non potevano essere stressati oltremodo. E per me vuol dire che il progetto va avanti. The condors will now finally get to see the Urubamba Valley. It is the moment they have all been waiting for. Over 16 months ago, Angelo awaited the birth of his condor chick in Austria. Now, that fully grown chick, Inca, and his sister, Maya, are heading to their new home, the Valley of the Incas. That night, an Incan ceremony is held to celebrate the return of the condors to their spiritual home. A shaman welcomes and blesses Inca and Maya under the full moon. It is an emotional moment for Laura. The last time she stood under the Peruvian skies, Angelo was by her side. The powerful Urubamba Valley. Here, the weather changes daily, hourly, and by the minute. So gliders must seize the perfect moment. Inca is free, soaring through the valley like his ancestors before him. But the local avian community provides a less than friendly welcome.
Karakara. An indigenous falcon is protecting his territory. Trying to push Inca down towards the ground. It is the first time the condor has dealt with a competitor. Inca flaps his wings with delight at the sight of a friendly face. His human family has come to the rescue. Non ti devi affaticare. Hai visto come ti è finito? of her younger brother's release. It is time for Maya's new life to begin. Dai Maya, dai Maya. Dai Maya, dai. Dai che sei libera. Inca encourages his sister to lift off. The thermals gently push her upwards, and Maya is airborne. The two condors soar together over the valley, familiarizing themselves with their new home. Mayinka! Lara watches as her late husband's dream plays out in the clear blue skies above. Yo creo que se ha logrado el sueño de Ángel. Ah, Al final, seguro. se ha logrado, yo pienso, lo que él ha soñado, ¿no? Angelo Doigo described his year with Maya and Inca as the most incredible of his entire flying career.
Only time will tell whether Maya and Inca successfully adapt to life in the wild. But for now, Angelo's spirit lives on. <sighs> 